St. Paul, Minnesota. Hey, YouTube. How's everybody doing? Are you guys uh, getting all crazy and wild out here? It seems a lot of people are. You know, it was said uh, one time, I think, seems like the person's name was McKenna. Something like that. Anyway, he said that uh, towards the end of 2012, that things were just going to get nuttier and nuttier in the last months of 2012. And by golly, you know, that person had some insight. We got some real nutty things going on. Crazy stuff. The reason that I'm, I'm saying this and the reason I'm doing this video is uh, I watched a news report. In fact, I saw several videos come through my email that had this video that was taped by someone on the street in St. Paul, uh, St. Paul, Minnesota, honey? Yep. St. Paul, Minnesota. I should know that. I've only asked him ten times. Anyway, uh, a guy by the name of Eric Hightower got confronted by a police officer and across the street, this other guy is videotaping the whole thing. Now, this officer knows he's being recorded. But he gets this guy down. He tases him. He's kicking him. He kicks him in the throat. The guy is defenseless. He has no weapons. He's not resisting arrest. He's not doing anything. He's been sprayed. He can't breathe. He's gagging and sputtering and coughing. And the cop just goes up and kicks him right in the throat or the upper part of the chest. You can't really tell. So Some of the um, reports say he's kicked in the throat, and others say that he's kicked uh, in the chest. And I'm watching this thing, and I'm thinking, man, this officer, Jesse Gills, I think was his name, has got to be one of them nuttiers, because... He knows he's being taped or filmed. A guy's got the camera. He's like this, you know, filming him. And he's still behaving like a lunatic. Well, then some other officers show up. And matter of fact, you know, the whole street started looking like Christmas. It was lit up with lights all over the place. Police cars everywhere. Officers running to help this cop against this defenseless man that's down on his belly on the ground. He even lifts his own arm for the cuff. Cop doesn't even have to grab it. Cop grabs the first arm, but the second arm, uh, Eric picks it up, puts it, puts it behind him all by himself, completely going along with the program. Even though he's been kicked and brutalized and it's bizarre. And the whole time this Eric's saying, you know, what are you doing this for? I haven't done anything wrong. And of course, across the street you hear hooting and hollering and screaming and yelling. and People are, are witnessing this. But it don't stop this cop. Absolutely bizarre behavior. You know, yesterday I saw another one where this gal in a sundress, who was actually a nurse is pulled over because she was talking on her cell phone while she was driving, which is a no-no, guys. We know how dangerous that is. We know that people get hurt doing that, so that's a no-no. Don't do it. But in some places, it's a big no-no. Police officers see you doing it. You're going to get pulled over, going to get a citation, going to get in trouble. Anyway, she gets brutalized. She gets taken down by this cop, he slams her down on the asphalt, rips part of her cheek off, and just, this, this woman, this mother, this wife, this nurse, in a sundress, like she was some kind of wild threat. 
Whoa, talk about nutty. We got some nutty stuff going on. What's happening to our police force? I mean, aren't they supposed to be serving the people? Isn't that their duty is to serve and protect? Something is amiss. So is it because we're close to the end of 2012? Or is it that people are just losing it? They're just not. I mean, maybe it's the stress. Maybe it's all the stuff that's taken place. But whatever it is, friends, all I want to say, and I'm going to keep this real short. I know I talk too much. I, I get on a roll. Don't I, honey? Yeah. <laughs> he ain't going to argue that. I do. When I feel so strong about something and I become so convicted, I just I want to get the point out. You know, I want to get it across. Um, golly, what I'm seeing is is more upsetting to me than than Nibiru or aliens or uh, projected moon or uh, any of the other wacky stuff, harp, chemtrails, all this stuff. I mean, yeah, these are important things, but what's bothering me more than anything is what's happening to society. What is happening to our values, to the virtues of, man, of mankind? You know, we do have a list of virtues, and they're really, really valuable as far as being good people. And it just seems like so many of them are just lost. I mean, this officer, who in their right mind would know that they're on camera and brutalize a human being? I'm going to put a link down below. I can't even say it the way it happened. You need to see it with your own two eyes if you haven't already seen it. There's a lot of videos going around. Maybe you've already seen it. But I'm appalled by it. Absolutely appalled. Uh, we're losing virtues. We're losing our humanity. We're, we're becoming beasts. Monsters. You know, we've got mothers killing their own children. Fathers killing their families. We've got uh, fathers and mothers killing their families and then killing themselves. We've got children going into schools killing each other. We've got cops brutalizing and, and just beating the tar out of people in broad daylight in front of God and everybody else and not giving a darn. You know, I'm thinking the world's going nuts. Going nuts. Are you one of those people? Are you going crazy? Is it getting to you? I don't know if it's getting to me or not. It's bothering me. It's bugging me. Bugging me bad. We're good people. People, we are good people. We are. We are good people. You know, for you women, you get up every morning, you know, and whatever your duties are, whether you have a job outside the home, or rather you're inside the home, you know, being the home uh, homekeeper and house mom and PTA and cupcakes on birthdays and all the good things that moms at home do. Dad, you go out, you work for a living unless you're the home dad, you know, you stay home while wife goes out and works, whatever the case may be, whatever you do. You know, women, you go in and you get your shower and you get your hair dried and you're fixing your hair and you're putting on your face. Mine just comes with me. But you're putting on your makeup, you know, and getting your eyes just right and looking pretty. While you're doing that, and men, while you're shaving, you know, and getting rid of all the hair on your face, or whatever you do in front of the mirror, lady in front of the mirror, man in front of the mirror, whatever you're doing at that moment, take just a minute, one minute, 
every day to look in the mirror into your own eyes, deep into your eyes, look into your eyes and ask yourself, who am I really? Who am I really? Because inside you is an absolutely beautiful being that doesn't need to shave, that doesn't need the makeup, doesn't need anything to be beautiful. We're in a foot race, a foot race for fame, for higher placement in the factory, for dressing better, eating better, looking better, walking better, talking better. We're in this race that doesn't need to exist. It doesn't need to be here. It does not belong here. We don't have to keep up with the Joneses. Joneses went broke, by the way. Flat broke. Had their home foreclosed on. It's another story, a really sad one. So don't keep up with the Joneses. Just be you. And who are you really? We're faced with a lot of obstacles, but we can get through this. I have it on a very high authority that we don't need to worry. We do need to prepare for a rough road. You know, you're, you're going down and you're hitting a lot of potholes and things are really looking pretty crappy, but it's going to smooth out. You're going to be on smooth. You ever, ever driven in a car on fresh laid asphalt or concrete? It's just smooth. And there's a special sound about it. That's where we're headed. We're headed for that smooth. We really are. Corruption cannot last. It's going to be dissolved. There's too much goodness, too much goodness in the world. And we need to keep that goodness growing. We need to just let it mound up and cover all of the caca, all of the bad. Now, on the bright side, Eric didn't get any charges against him. Eric Hightower, evidently, he really didn't do anything wrong. And you know, it's funny because in the uh, video, you will hear that they accuse him of some type of terrorist act or plot, which was bogus, that word terrorist. See, they're using that for justification for all the crap they're doing. Don't buy into it. There are no terrorists. It is not real. It's an illusion that they have created for their own agenda. And their agenda is caca. It is poo. Blanket it with good. We have that power. And there's a whole lot more of us than there are of them. I'll put another video down in the description that you can watch that explains that better than I do. Whole bunch of us little tiny bit of them. We can blanket it with good. Do good things for each other. Help your neighbor. Help a friend. Help a stranger. Help an old lady carrying her gar uh, groceries out of the grocery store. Uh, ask your neighbor if you can mow his yard. Ask your neighbors if they have everything they need. See what you can do for someone else. And look in the mirror every day just for half a minute. Okay, let's go half a minute. I know a minute's a lot. Go half a minute. Look into your eyes. Who are you really? Who are you? You. Who are you really? I think you're beautiful. I think you are the most remarkable person I've ever met.
And I love this cyber world because I never would have met you without it. I love all of you. I think you're great. And I think together we can do this. And I'll try and do a video on the virtues because there's a whole bu bunch of young people don't know what they are, don't have a clue. Mom and Dad's too busy trying to stay away from copying the Joneses. They don't want to lose their home, so they're awful busy right now. I'm not too busy. Well, maybe I am kind of, sort of busy, but I'll take the time to do the virtues and share them with you so you can share with your kids. And you know, guys, we can do this. We can do this. We can blanket out the poo-poo. When you see something that's happening that's wrong, like this video of the cop and what he does to Eric, stand up for Eric. Stand up for all the Erics. Don't be afraid. We have nothing to fear. The dark ones should be fearing. The evildoers should be fearing. The people that abuse other people should be fearing. Now, Jesse supposedly is on, uh, he's on, what do they call it, when they can't work for a while until they investigate it. What's that, honey? Uh, Not probation. No, yeah. Anyway, he's on it, whatever it is. So, he did get his hand slapped, and we'll see where it goes video link down below watch it look into the mirror look into the mirror who are you is that scary no love you all hugs big hugs and a whole bunch of hope friends there's a whole bunch more coming Hope. Love you all. Catch you guys later.